Hello everybody, Randy Wilson here at the Heinemann Settlement School. We're up on the hill at uh, Jane Stills Cottage and we're going to go in and look at the place and, and it's a place that you can rent and uh, or if you're a writer you can stay here for a while. You'll see his library and the desk from which he wrote many a poem and short story. Also Lucy Furman had the house built in 1924 and we'll talk a little bit about her. But first, uh, I'm going to do a little song for you, an old traditional song, a little tender song about a little boy and his old uncle and trying to help his old uncle around the house. So come on in, we'll listen to a song, and we'll look at Mr. Steele's cottage here, a place that you may want to stay here at the Hyman Settlement School. Come and join me. joining with me at the Heinemann Settlement School. Uh, we're up at uh, Mr. Still's cottage on the hill and it's available to people who want to stay at the Heinemann Settlement School. And uh, we'll look at some of uh, Mr. Still's uh, works here and what he's left behind and show you just what kind of place it would be for you if you wanted to uh, stay a weekend or a few days or if you're a writer and you want to get away. The idea of what it'd be like is the kitchen. Got the uh, They've all renovated this uh, place, uh, real nicely done. And uh, new appliances here. I'll show you a little bit about some of Mr. Steele's works uh, that we have. These pictures and things about Mr. Steele here. Here's the bedroom. It's a, it's just a wonderful job uh, renovating the place. And here's Mr. Steele's um, log house out in the county. He lived most of his life out there and was given that place to live as long as he, to live in as long as he was alive. And uh, here are a couple of his works. Uh, short stories, Pattern of a Man, uh, Appalachian Mother Goose, some rhymes by Mr. Steele, Wolf Pen Poems, short story Sporty Creek A Run for Alberta so personally I like his poetry and uh, short stories uh, the most and here's his classic uh, novel River of Earth I'll walk you through real quickly here just the new appliances and furnishings here 
Thanks for that. Now here's uh, Lucy Furman. She had the house uh, built in 1924. And kept, uh, kept me a young kid here. She even kept Albert Stewart. He's another writer, contemporary with Mr. Steele. He's a great writer. And uh, helped Mr. Steele when he's in a tight spot for money and got him a job at Moorhead State University. Uh, washer and dryer here. Hope I don't move this thing too quickly for you. And uh, here's the living room again. Mr. Steele was uh, in the Army. They drafted him in World War II. Uh, he was, I think, in his 30s. They didn't know what to do with him. He's sort of an older gentleman at that time. And uh, he kept books for him on ships to Africa. Here's his study. And if you like to write, this is a great place to do some writing here. This built for Mr. Steele. And uh, he got his doctorate, I believe, in the Library of Science. He said he got his master's degree and his doctorate in the same shoes. He got a master's degree at Vanderbilt. And he came here because he, uh, I think it was during the Depression, and he just couldn't find work. So he worked here as a librarian and, and did the county um, roads, took books to people throughout the county, and did a boys' uh, baseball team, and uh, they just gave him room and board. So that was the deal he did, and he, he was here ever since the Depression. Came from Alabama. So, uh, think about it. You call the Heinemann Settlement School, 606 785 5475. If you want to stay here and spend some time on campus and, and spend some time in this uh, historic building. Okay, let's go outside and uh, I hope to see you sometime here at the Hyman Settlement School. Here's the porch. I don't know if through the trees in town of Hyman and the Hyman Settlement School. Hope to see you here. Goodbye now.